What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold farming video. So in today's video we are doing the weekly mailbox clean out and everything that I clean out from this mailbox is transmog items. It's either farm transmog or craft the transmog and this is basically how I'm able to uh, play the game for free doing this alone and more because it's like easily a wow token a week usually right? So basically what I do is I farm transmog doing open world and dungeon farms, but that main, that's mainly just for fun because I like the, the thrill of the hunt to get an RNG item. Most of the gold and the steady gold really comes from the crafted uh, mog section. And uh, this that's like exclusive to the book. So it contains like spreadsheets and all the information you guys need to know. It will teach you where to go, which factions to get exalted, which mobs to kill, what dungeons and raids to do in order to get the best um, the best possible uh, plants and patterns and also TSM groups and operations and all of that. So everything that I just mentioned and more is included in the 0 to 10 million gold guide. This is also the very exact book that will be updated for Dragonflight. So if you guys have already bought the book or you're planning on buying it now, then don't worry. All of the updates that's coming with Dragonflight will be implemented into this very exact book. And you guys will receive the updates for free on your email. So don't forget to use the discount code SHADOWLANDS. And it's linked down below in the description and also pinned comments. So last week I made like 600,000 gold on the clean out. This week I've sold 300 auctions, but it doesn't like that's a decent amount of auctions, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to make a lot of gold because the first 100 auctions is just 100,000 gold. So each item on average is just 1,000 gold. But you guys can see there's a bunch of low value uh, transmog items right here. Most of these are farm because if you spend 10 gold crafting an item that's worth 300 gold, and it's bound to sell at some point, it's definitely worth doing it. So I don't really, when it comes to crafted mog, I don't have a like a minimum price that it needs to be worth for me to post it. As long as it makes a profit, I'm going to craft it. But on farm, the transmog is different, however. So going down this list, I've got to just take a look and see if there's anything worth mentioning at all. I see that I sold some Reef Walker from Nasiatar really cheaply. Same with the uh, Isle of Thunder items, because prices on my realm are extremely bad. Saltstone shoulders for less than 2,000 gold. Raid Chammer less than 10k. I mean, it's bad. I'm still making a lot of gold. I just, I, I would have made more on some of the other realms, right? Saltstone likes 6,000 gold. Very low prices. Um, Reef Walker again, horrible price. Like a lot of people are selling these crafted glad items for a couple thousand gold, and I sell them for a couple of hundred gold, right? I sold a death blow from Sunken Temple for like 12k. I think that's a 80 or 90 thousand gold market value item. But it's Arch and Dawn. There's a lot of gold farmers on this realm. So that just proves it. Like if I can do it, so can you. Corpse Shroud, once again worth like 50k a market value 6k of my realm war bear woolies this is probably i could have probably made more gold selling the mats than um the woolies at this price right here 2.3k gold but i'm making a profit the gold is going up i'm seeing sales that's the most important part for me like just seeing um the amount of auctions that i'm selling is great because it just motivates me to keep on going and every now and then you're going to sell that one transmog item that's a couple hundred thousand gold for that one item alone and that really makes it for me so uh next 100 auctions let's see when it resets is 166,000 gold so slightly better then let's see is there any big boy items <coughs> shatov's ruler is one of those items that usually people would just uh the vendor it this is uh, somebody buying the Reef Walker set. The boots, as always, I've, sh I've sold probably 20 pairs of these boots. If you guys have been following the series, you would know that by now. This time, luckily for a bit more, 28k on those bad boys. The Boom Shooter, which is a blue item from Wad, 11k. Elementium Spellbird is a crafted. Dark Rune Gauntlet is also crafted. Uh, Stronghold Gauntlets, they're kind of pricey to, uh, to craft because it's a TBC epic item. Sold for 33,000 gold. Moon Shroud and Vicious, both crafted items. Uh, Decapitator's Razor, 4.4k. 
Sun Cry Scryer is another WAD item. Like, people are really sleeping on WAD the transmog these days. That's where I said it the last opening that I did too. But, like, when it comes to farm the transmog, not craft it, don't confuse the two of them. But when it comes to farm transmog, then WAD is where I'm making the majority of my gold right now. So I'm, I'm amazed that not more people are doing uh, WAD the transmog. And yes, there is a lot of bad items, transmog items from WAD. You just gotta filter out the bad shit and uh, and post the good items that actually have a unique appearance. Next, uh, 100 auctions, 124k. Once again, really cheap Barbar Woolies. Uh, 16k, Haunted Steel, that's crafted. Mooncloth Robe is crafted. The Fiery Chain Shoulders are crafted. Uh, 9k for Wolf Claw Gloves from RFK, 9k. Not good. Black Dragon Scale set selling. Uh, Spike Titan still crafted. Grizzly Chest, this is, once again, another like high sell rate transform item with a very high market value, but only 2k of my realm. Boots of Kingly Uphavel, uh, 15k crafted. And now there's only 9 auctions left. So let's clean out this. And then we'll... Oh, but there's big boy sales. Thank God. So uh, you, we can already see Haunted Steel Treads is a crafted item. I sell a ton of these. They're very good. The Knife Blade is a world drop epic item. So that that was really sweet. 158k on those last nine auctions. Uh, making the total uh, amount of gold this week 548,000 gold. So that's well above a token in a week of doing very little work. It's like a, a gold printer at this point. It's pretty much just make gold by selling the crafted transmog. Take a small portion of that gold in order to craft new transmog items that you just sold, right? It just keeps on going. Whenever you sell stuff, you take the profit, you craft more items with it, and uh, you will never stop producing gold. And uh, yes, it does cost you both gold and and time to get started with crafted transmog but i did it years ago and it's paid itself over like a thousand times right and especially now when blizzard are making the auction house uh like commodities reach and wide it gives us uh like way more materials usually it's probably going to mean at a fair price right in the start it's going to be low but then it's going to be at a fair price and uh, there's going to be a lot of people that still can't be arsed to get into crafted transmog because of the time and the gold requirements. So it means that the rich will get richer because the people that already have this set up with the transmog uh, crafters, they will just get their hands on cheaper materials, making even more profit on the items. But there's going to be very few people that starts with crafted transmog. So definitely, if you have the book, make sure you check out the spreadsheet. You just go down to crafted transmog and you get to click the link right that says spreadsheet or something like that and you will be able to open up this excel spreadsheet with all the information you need right if you haven't bought it yet just make sure you use the discount code shadowlands and subscribe to the youtube channel if you think that this is the sort of content that you find interesting and that way you will be uh notified whenever i upload a new video but that's it for today guys thank you all so much for watching and i will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video but until then Bye-bye.